Hey, it's Navelle J. Lee here at the Beverly Hilton Inn, Beverly Hills, California, for the 39th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards that are airing tonight on HLN. Good to see you. Sorry, I'm just reading the news on my phone back there. I was like, you're so in tune with it. I'm like, I kept yelling, Kyle! And you just I'm was like... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was not <laughs> ignoring you. No, I was, I was actually just reading about the whole Jerry Sandusky verdict uh, thing that just came out. Yeah. So it's like... Last night, yeah. As you can imagine, it's just so... Enthralling. I mean, I really was just in the zone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I would be into it too. I mean, I was when I read it yesterday. I was like, fry him, fry him. I mean, you know what? It, it's, it's it's one of those things where if he was not convicted, I just I don't know what else we have left as a I think we justice system. Out. But anyway, regardless, regardless. Of how that, are you? I'm good. Good. I'm a bit hot, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> When you, pack, when you pack this many people onto a, a carpet like, with the sun blasting through the windows in Southern California in like June, it could be that way. The hat might be helping it, maybe. No, you look good. I like your, your outfit. Well, thank you. It was a last minute decision. Oh, really? <laughs> it was, really. You know, I started to take to wearing hats like that, too. I really enjoy them. Would it work on like, you? Like the fedora kind of thing? Would it work on you? Well, I think it does. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You have to get one and find I'll wear out. them at a couple events coming up and then put them on and then see, you know, you we'll can see. let me know what you think. Okay. I so don't know. Everybody's cool. You got to try it. Okay. We'll try it. I'll do that then. Yes. Now, now, the vanity. Oh, boy. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's... You know, that show... <laughs> I'm rendered speechless by your performance. I just, well, thank you. Thank you very much. No, we, I start shooting season three tomorrow. Tomorrow. And, uh, you know, this started out as something where I heard that a buddy of mine was was created this show called Event Michael Caruso. Yes. And he created the show, and I'm like, oh, my God, Michael Caruso from college. This is crazy. And I said, <laughs> and I heard that he's been trying to get in touch with me to do a cameo on, on the show. And I was like, absolutely, totally. When I saw the footage of season one, and you know the writing and, and the production value is yeah. is off the charts. I was like, I want to do more than just like a little cameo. Just, just one thing. So he put me in three episodes last season for season two, and that went really well. And I love working on it. So I'm back season three, like full season, re you know, series regular. And your wife is making the guest spot. On yes, the she is. Yes. She is. And it's gonna be. <laughs> That is just so cliche to say in the red carpet, like, it's going to be great, tune it's gonna in. It's going to be awesome. No, but it's like, <laughs> the script is, it's going to be crazy. Like, I mean, look, the show, they get away with this stuff. They're because, allowed to. Yeah, exactly. But I love the dialogue, as you can say this stuff, and it's, and yeah. he does such a, I mean, Michael writes all of this. He's so talented. He has no one else to me as a No, he writes it. Well, I mean, I don't want to, I know for a fact that he writes all of it. I don't know if he has help yeah. or what have you, but I love the character that he's created for me, and, and... I mean, to play Andrew Regis and everything that, that he is, is just like, I get it. He gives me so much freedom to do whatever I want to do. And, you know, I go like all out and then he's either like, awesome, let's keep it. Or we just kind of bring it back a little Tone bit. Because he'd rather, bit. he'd rather just like me give everything. Yeah. And so we have it. And then he's like, all right, that was maybe a little bit too much. We'll bring it. But not really. I mean, not everything all. that I've really kind of done, he's like, Keep it. Keep it in. <laughs> so, no, it's season three. I just finished reading the scripts. The season three is going to be... I'm so excited for it. It's going to be great. She actually just mentioned, too, she was like, she... Have you heard him sing? He's... I was like, I've never heard him sing. Did you mention that? Oh, she did. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, um... What is it, like, 16 years now I've been classically training singer? Okay. So, I actually, Notice when I... I'm not in that <laughs> <laughs> when I left uh, when I left uh, the Bold and Beautiful I, I past year I've been spending a lot of time in New York I'm from New York right. and I've just I've been trying to get back on stage and on Broadway and it's, it's such a I mean that's that's the, the pinnacle I'm just I've kind of been infiltrating that crowd and, and as respectfully as I can and just kind of showing him what I can do and hopefully land something over there just because I, I want to get back on stage so bad I miss it and spend some time in New York because that's where I'm from that's where you're so, from exactly that's the man. so stay tuned yeah, thank keep, you for that by the way and keep us posted yes absolutely thank you for and I'm sorry I was so in my zone you were in the zone